morning. It's uh, Friday, August 14, 2020. It's uh, 2.39 a.m. Then I'm on my way to go get my workout on. If, um, I had a conversation with somebody yesterday and it was, um, it, it wasn't even more so a conversation. It, it was, I had given some unsolicited advice and um, the reason that I had given the unsolicited advice and what I mean by unsolicited, meaning I didn't ask for it. And I don't know if that's always a good idea because one, it, it sometimes pulls you into the fire of whatever it is that you're seeing is going on. But, but also sometimes it's important to get involved. You're like, yeah, it's not my problem. Stay up out of that. Uh, you handle that. You know, I think it's sometimes the equivalent of seeing somebody broke down on the side of the road. You got jumper cables. You got some extra water. You have a tire jack. You have all these things that could assist them. And you just say, you know what? I'm not going to make that my problem. Sometimes that's a, a, a very selfish way of seeing things, but to each his own and everybody's entitled to do it. And I'm not saying that I get involved in problems that ain't mine all the time. There's times I see cars broke down on side road, I just keep on rolling. Most of the time I don't. And this individual got offensive. And in my mind, I'm like, hold on. I had to go back over what I said. And I say anything that was offensive or was I just saying the truth as I see it? Because the truth as you see it ain't always the truth as the other person see it. And then that can create something to be offensive right then and there. But if you ask yourself, and this is going to the person who was getting the unsolicited advice. Am I being offended because what's being said is offensive or am I being offended because what's being said is the truth? And each individual on both sides of the pendulum can make the argument for their own case and say, hey, you're getting offended because your ego is in the way. The other person say, well, I'm getting offended because what you said is offensive. And it's so hard to have these conversations with anybody. And the hardest conversation of all that really resolves maybe most problems, if not all problems, is having a conversation with yourself. Because if you have a conversation with yourself about your weight, then nobody else has to say, hey, you know, maybe you shouldn't eat that. Or if you're having a conversation with yourself about your relationships, then maybe nobody would feel the need to give you unsolicited advice. I don't know. But why we don't start with ourselves a very irresponsible way of handling things because most instances where a problem occurs and it occurs because there's something inside of us there's something internally that we haven't checked we haven't ran an algorithm test on to say hey am I clicking on all cylinders am I doing what I need to do am I doing the right thing Am I making the best decision? You should care.
care about other people. I should care about other people. And sometimes I should be inconvenienced by other people's problems. That's okay. But other people should realize, as must I, Sometimes the problems are created because of us. Either what we did or what we didn't do. It's created because of us. And I like giving unsolicited advice because you're not prepared for what's getting ready to be said. Versus when you ask somebody, hey, I got, you know, I got this issue. I want you to, they're, they're preparing for a pre-packaged response. Versus unsolicited, hey, check this out. I was checking something out and I looked and I seen and, you know, Here's, here, I'm just going to give you my two cents. But again, when you do that, be prepared to be inconvenienced because now you're taking on an emotional situation that wasn't yours. And, and I'm all right with that. I would prefer to help people change their tires and give them jumps to their cars. I'd prefer to do that, but sometimes it's 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 necessary to throw your hat into the emotional arena of life. And and and, 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 and sometimes offer unsolicited advice to help individuals get out their own way. But I wouldn't suggest doing it on a regular basis. Because some people are just built for drama. Meaning, the way I condition myself to run or to exercise or to ride my bike or to endure strenuous situations in my business. Some people have trained for the exact same way to deal and to endure drama so the thresholds are always a little bit different but nonetheless sometimes it's necessary because if you never put yourself out there that individual or that group of people may never be able to benefit from something that only you have to give. There's been situations that I've been in where it, it really boiled down to there was nobody else that was going to be able to say or do what I said and I did that was able to bring about a change. So it's important to get involved, but let your involvement be discerned by the Holy Spirit. Don't just be running around reckless. Like if I see something lurky happening, trust me, my spirit ain't gonna be like, hey, yeah, it's, uh, it's one o'clock in the morning. It's a dark street. Yeah, and there's three guys right there broke down looks like they're broke down yeah go ahead and go over there and uh help them out give them a ride my spirit ain't gonna tell me that so be obedient to what your spirit is telling you because sometimes what's locked away inside of you needs to come out so that it can benefit somebody else